so over the last few months, um, I've learned a little bit, Bronte's learned a little bit about some of the things that we're doing now with YouTube and recording. And um, I just wanted to give you today some of the things that we're using that might be beneficial to you. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Did you, were you about to hit me with that? Whatever. <laughs> I can. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? I'm Otis. I'm Bronte. And this is Robinson House TV. We are so excited just to continue to share some things that we have going on in the Robinson House and what we do and uh, especially our love for God, Jesus Christ, our love for each other and our love for family and just our love for life. Um, and today what we wanted to do is to share some of the things that we've been using um, just to help us to put the videos on that we've been doing. Uh, for example, this Joby Gorilla Stand uh, has been very helpful for us in the last few months as we've been recording video. But uh, this is just one of the things that we've been using. So. Um, it's coming very handy, it's very flexible, it moves and it does all kinds of different things. So if we want to catch a, a different kind of shot, uh, you can move it all around and do different things with it. So that's become very helpful. The other thing that's really been beneficial for me, and I'm sweating like I don't know what right now, but, but it's been beneficial for me is that we're doing a lot for work looking at screens. We're doing a lot of yeah. uh, computer work as a teacher, um, as a uh, insurance person that works in a compliance department doing a lot of regulation reading. Uh, we're always looking at computer screens. And so one day my eyes were hurting really bad and someone recommended that I get some, some blue light blocking glasses. And that's what these are. These have been so beneficial to block out a lot of the a lot of the rays that come from our screens and especially with phones and computer screens and all the different electronic devices that we're using you need something to kind of protect your eyes and ever since i've been wearing these these have really helped my eyes so that i can focus a little bit better um so these have been very helpful for us and so just throwing it out there that you might want to get you a pair if you're doing a lot of reading on a computer screen yep um i don't know how how's it served you at school well, by the end of the day, when we started back going virtual yeah. online, um, by the end of the day, my eyes were like burning, tired. Right. So when I started wearing those, I don't have that problem anymore. And I noticed our kids are even wearing them. They didn't yep. want to wear their prescription glasses. Exactly. But they will wear those. And I, and I know it's because they help them. So they are yeah. helpful. Yeah. So they are very helpful. We're just trying to figure out ways to kind of help us, especially on the day to day, doing a lot of reading and screens and anything that helps us in everyday life. So, of course, this this channel is a lot about not just about us because we're always talking about us yeah but it's about um the things that we're using as well the things that have benefited us and we feel like they might benefit you as well so from time to time we'll we'll share some of the things that we're using um uh, i'll even share you know what camera we're using so if, if if any of this stuff interests you i'll throw a link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself and if it's something that works for you great i love to hear about it or we love to hear about uh, anything that you might uh, purchase that's beneficial to you uh just to let us know thank you what is happening? Is the air on? No, I make you sweat, right? That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> I so, still got it. <laughs> it is super hot. I don't know, but yeah, that's what it is. We'll yeah. go with we'll it. Go it with is it. what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so that's one thing that happened. Now, the other thing that we've been doing is staying in the house a lot because of, of course, the pandemic. Yeah. Um, and But from time to time throughout the week, we, we find a day where it's just like, okay, I can't take it anymore. I need to get outside of these four walls. And today was one of those days. So yeah. after I got off work, we had a, a meeting. And after that meeting, Bronte said what? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. It was much more difficult than <laughs> us just going for a ride because let's go for a ride turned into let's find something to eat. Yeah. What are we going to eat? What do you want to eat? I don't know what I want to eat. Uh... Just check this out. <laughs> we had a storm last night, folks. It looks like we made it out okay, thank God. Could have been worse. A lot of debris down, but nothing major. 
get outside of the house and so we decided we were gonna come get something to eat but do you ever have this problem where you like what do you want to eat and your spouse has no clue what they want to eat one of the most frustrating things in the world <laughs> well you don't know what you want to eat either so. I don't know what I want to eat that's why I'm hoping you well look this know. is listen no but this is what happened today we you know I'm sure this we had the storm way. coming in and everybody had to work from home right right so we're all in the house all day so by the end of the sorry so by the end of the day you want to get out of the house and go for a ride so that's what I said let's just let's go for a ride isn't that what I said right that's exactly what you said but I, I, I have that. not eaten a meal today I've had popcorn what I ate well, I wouldn't consider that a meal you I had, had a, a salad I had a, that's rabbit food that's <laughs> that's not a meal when you want a meal you want some steak and some potatoes or some yeah, so we're sitting here waiting on my parents to come out of Coles because I'm we're meeting them to drop something off. That's just how we don't have anything to do today. <laughs> today is one of those days where there's no agenda in the afternoon, which is rare for us because, sorry for all the noise, because we're always doing something, even in the pandemic. Something's being planned, something's yeah. being structured. So... We want, we want to just come on and say, take some time for yourself to just ride around and complain about what you want to eat because it'll do you <laughs> good. <laughs> so I have no idea what I want. Now, I did. There's a red robin right over there. But y'all know my story. I'm trying to do better on my eating. So I'm sure they have something I can get. But I really need to watch what I'm eating because I'm, I'm losing weight. I've lost about 15 pounds for those that know, but I've kind of plateaued only because. What, you want to blame it on me that I haven't been cooking? No, oh. only because I think that there have been some moments where I've said, ah, I'll get a little ice cream. Ah, I'll eat a cookie. And that shouldn't throw you off, but it does. Um, and in my process of losing weight i don't want to be so strict that i forget to live life a little bit so um, it's going to take some time and weight loss does take time so that's not what we want to talk about but anyway my journey So you see what happened right there. It's very difficult to decide what to eat. It's very hard sometimes to figure it out. So we go out for a ride and that becomes, it wasn't really stressful, but it felt like stress for a minute because you wouldn't tell me what you wanted to eat. But yeah, yeah. anyway. Then we made a pit stop. And when you don't know what you want to eat, you get McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the go-to and you know, it just keeps you from fighting because it's just got like one McDonald's. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. And then when you get to McDonald's, you're like, okay, we gotta make a healthy choice at McDonald's. So, what do we get? Do we just get the nuggets and the fries? Do you? I mean, salad's not really all that. Uh, what do you get? So anyway, McDonald's is never a healthy choice. <laughs> And as you know, as I just said a minute ago, uh, that I've been trying to do better, and I have been doing better. Again, um, I've lost 15 pounds, so I'm super proud about that. I keep bringing that up, but um, it is it is a it is a accomplishment for me. So I'm super excited about that. I'm, so I, I'm happy for you. Thank you. So I, I try my best not to get back into a bad routine, but I also again don't want to deprive myself of some of the finer things in life, such as McDonald's. So anyway, <laughs> from time to time I'll do that. But um, I had a fantastic salad earlier and that was gone homemade homemade with these hands yep so guys listen we thank you for continuing to stick with us um, if this content is something especially with us just sharing some of the things that we use around the house if it's beneficial to you consider subscribing and also uh, clicking the bell so that when we put out new content you'll be notified and you can stay uh, stay up to what we're doing in our house uh, hopefully it's helping you and we'd love to hear some of the things that you're doing in your house what do you do when you get to the point where the four walls start to close in on you do you yeah. go out for a ride do you go outside and just sit on your front porch or do you go for a walk in the park 
what do you do? Because we're certainly looking for some ideas that we would we would love to add to our list um, in the event that those days come up. What can we do? So thank you for tuning in with us today and we will talk to you soon. See you guys later.